Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm here with some more Sky Factory and today we are going to finish up this room and we are going to connect everything up the way we want it, make another molecular assembler in the middle here and pretty much have fun with everything that we need. So, first thing I want to do is grab ourselves a pickaxe and server. There you go. Oh, not server. Okay. Um, let's see. Diamond pick. All right. Looks like I don't... Do I have any diamonds in here? How about just a pickaxe? All right. How about sticks? All right. So, looks like we have nothing that we need in there. <laughs> uh, we're going to grab three diamonds. And let's craft ourselves a nice little pickaxe. And we're going to start hacking at our little system and making things go the way we want it to. So, first thing I want to do, though, is I want to clear out these items these things I want to get rid of all of that because i don't need that and then we're going to head back over here and we are going to go down to the bottom layer and we are going to take out from here well first we're going to place down this then we're going to take out from here each one of these because they're going to remain in the molecular assembler but we're going to take this molecular assembler that we have and we are going to move this one over to the other room because you know what we don't need quite a big one for over here so why not get this sized one going in the other area so let's get rid of all of this and i'll be back once i'm done removing it all all right guys so i have determined that i want this to be right here and i want it to pop out and the top layer be popping out the top right here so with that being said let's start placing some of these assembly containment walls and see how it goes. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. You can see it's gonna pop out just slightly right there, which is fine. But then we are going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And let's head down here. And we're going to go simply just create the nice wall that you need to have for an assembly table. So let's get that. And there we go. And let's see, boom, 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 boom. Perfect. So now we've got the walls set up. Next thing we've got to do is place in the heat vents. So we're going to place it all on the ground here. One, two, three. Perfect. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then let's do the top. And finally, let's do the crafting CPUs. Two rows of those. And then the pattern providers. And now, lastly, this guy, the last layer of these. Perfect, now we've got our molecular assembler. We are good to go with that. So what we need to do now is, well, let's place some lighting on the corner of these. And now we need to hook this up to our main system. So how we're gonna do that? Well, how you would hook up any kind of thing. So we need to grab ourselves, hmm. Huh. You know what? I'm going to move this stuff back one and I'm gonna put in the wall and I'll be back in just a second. So last video, people were telling me a few things. One, why don't I have one energy cell for everything? And my answer to that is because why would I want one if I can have many? Uh, my second thing people were telling me was that, hold on, was that I should build a different power system and not use what I have. And my reply to that one as well is that I can't do that because there isn't a giant reactor, reactors or big reactors in this pack. So we're sticking with what we have here and it'll be fine. Now, third thing I wanna talk about now is I wanna make ourselves a nice and big, another en a resonant energy cell. So that means we're going to need to get ourselves, why are there zombies? That was coming from up. Huh. There shouldn't be any zombies. That's not cool. All right. Anyway, what I was saying is I want to make ourselves another resonant energy cell. So resonant. Or, um, I'll just go energy cell. 
And you can see we've got stuff from Applied Energistics, but we're going to go and we're gonna make ourselves a redstone to resonant. So the redstone is going to be hardened glass with electrum and fused or and um diamond. So let's see. We need hardened glass. I wonder if we have some in the system already. Hardened glass. Hard okay. Do we have obsidian? We got some there. How about some lead? Alright, there's some lead. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to craft each component that we need here, and I'll be back once I'm ready to do some finalized crafting. Alright, time to craft the base structure for this guy. So here we go. It's going to be this there. Ah, we need a diamond. There we go. And then we need to fill him with some redstone, which is not too bad. Let's see right here. Redstone. Uh, not going quite yet. No, empty. Alright, so I think it needs more redstone in there. That's fine. Let us grab some more redstone. I honestly, I don't know how much it's going to need. I think it might be actually a ton, but I'll be back once this guy is fully crafted. Alrighty, guys. Crafting time. First thing to craft, the resonant ender. Resonant and energy cell. Ah, that was a mouthful. Second thing to craft is... Oh, let's grab a diamond from over here. Let's see, diamond. One diamond. Second thing to craft here is this guy. So, boom. Third thing to do, fill her up. And... Alright, while that's going, fourth thing to do, we need to grab some silver. Alright, doesn't look like we have any in there. Um... I think silver's upstairs. Let's go check for that. Let's see. Do you do one, two, three, four? And perfect. Cool. So now we are just about ready to have this guy over here should be just about full. Perfect. This guy should be done smelting. Then we can go like this. And we can go like that. And make ourselves our tesseract. Nice. So we are going to now, let's see, can I place anything else in there? Nope. We are going to now see redstone. All right, we need some more redstone. Let's see, and I, redstone, or energy conduits. Redstone energy conduits. To do redstone energy conduit that's crafted by taking a empty one, which is electrum and hardened glass. I don't think I have any more hardened glass, no. That's okay, we can take some obsidian. Oh, I have four pulverized obsidian right there, but um, let's pulverize some more. Place in here that, and let's grab some lead. And lead in there. Whoops, lead there. Eight. And we are going to grab ourselves next some, what is it? Uh, we need to fill it with redstone, so let's take some redstone. And I don't think it makes too many, so let's see. There's two of those. Let us grab our um, electrum we have already. So we're going to go one, one, two. Oops. Looks like electrum goes like that. Okay, so we can make six right now. So we're going to place in here that. That means we need to place one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And it's going to fill the six up. Oh, six... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need 12 of them. All right. And perfect. All right, so I'm going to configure this guy, set him up the way we need him to, and I'll be back once that's ready. All right, this guy is now completely set up properly, which is great. Let's get rid of everything we don't need. Place everything that is excess in there. Let's see. All right. Next, we're going to set up this guy and connect him to there. So the way we're going to do that, like all other ways of connecting ME systems, our little systems, we are going to shoot a little wire through. So the wire is going to go underneath here. And I'm going to run it underneath. I need a bucket of water probably to help. Let's get up here. Let's grab a bucket. And let's go grab some water. And we should be good. It's always nighttime when I hit that start recording button. I re just realized that. That's a, It's super annoying, though. I don't mean to always have it nighttime when I'm recording. All right. Sleeps through. 
Let's see. Is that a zombie over there? Ah, uh, that's where the zombies are coming in. Makes sense. Cool. We'll fix that later, but let us head back and let us fix up exactly what we need. So, first of all, we are going to head over here. And then we are going to go underneath and we are going to... So we're going to place a bucket of water right there. And this bucket is going to just be serve as that. And let's pick it up in just a second and place it on the outside. Place it right here. Yeah, like that should be fine. And we're going to move this guy that way. And like that. Perfect. Grab the bucket. And we are going to simply link it straight up with that guy. Boom, boom. Boom. And looking, looking good. So it should be all connected now, right? Let's see if it registers it. It does. Perfect. Meaning that that's all set up with this guy. So we need to start teaching it some recipes, but we'll do that in just a minute. Um, let's cover this back up over here. And let's, we need to wire this guy over there again. So let's, let's get rid of one cabling. I'll jump on here and just wire it up properly. See if I go like that maybe. Of course. Hold on guys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is let's head down here. And we are going to set up some, let's see, let's look at this guy over here. And, all right, so I need some blank patterns. Um, blank pattern right here. Um, that's not too hard to make Certus, glass, and glowstone. So let's head upstairs and, oops, not into here, back here, and we'll start crafting that. And we are going to start teaching it some basic recipes. Uh, do I have any blank? All right, so we need Certus. We need glowstone. We need glass. And, um, let's see, blank pattern is what again? Iron. Iron. Alright, let's go blank. Go like that. Let's grab some more. Let's grab some more glowstone. Wow, we actually have a shortage of glowstone. Okay, let's... I will make... Eh, we'll do that, why not? 21 should be good. And let's start doing some basic crafting. We'll teach it all the different uh, storage cells and everything and whatnot. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to throw this in here, and we're going to teach it how to make that in code. Next thing we want to do is we want to teach it how to make a... Um, we want to teach it how to make... Uh, 64k. We'll teach it how to make that in code. Uh, we need to teach it how to make that in code. We need to teach it how to make one of these in code. We need to teach it how to make one of these. Oops. In code. Nope. In code, and we need to teach it how. Oops, let's go back. We need to teach it how to make one of these. In code, perfect. Um, all the other crafting recipes will get going soon, but now that we have that, um, let's teach it how to make uh, a s containment walls. Because why not? Actually, we shouldn't probably... Let's not waste it on that. Um, we're going to finish up this here in a second, but I want to just see what we can do real quickly with some auto-crafting. And um, I have a new goal for us, guys. A new goal. Ready? We are going to set a goal to... Ready for this? Get a million of each different kind of ores. Each one of these, we're going to set a goal to get a million of it. Yeah, that's a little bit, um, just a little bit. <laughs> 
So that is going to be something we'll work on soon. Uh, we need to get things officially set up and going in a minute, or not this episode, but probably next episode for that. But um, let's quickly, let's finish up this guy and we should be good to go. So real quickly, let us grab a basic block that we can place around. Um, let's see, probably, eh, we'll do that and let's grab that pickaxe that's in here. We'll just finish off the pickaxe. I think it's got like two uses left, nine. So um, basically we're gonna make a three by three this time instead of a five by five. So it's gonna go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 containment walls. All right, so let's make that. And then we're just going to have, I think the smallest you can make is this one. But um, let's make 20 containment walls. Let's see, containment walls. That's gold and iron. So we can grab some gold. But do we need 80 gold? We only have 32. Crap. Um, let's go back to containment. Contain. Let's turn NI, NEI. Sink. Um, iron. Let's go containment. So we got eight. I'm going to get some more gold, and I'll be back in just a second. All right. Let's make the other. What, do we have 16 now? We need four more, so that's more iron, right? Yep. So let's grab that. Boom. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And let's clear all this out of here. And now we need to make ourselves some containment walls. Oops, not containment. I mean, um, let's see, heat vents. Heat vent. So that's ME cabling, and we are going to need four, six heat vents. So let's grab that. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a storage. What is it? A um, pattern provider? Pattern provider. All right, so this is going to need some more advanced things. So I'm going to craft this real quickly, and I will be right back. Perfect. So let's head down here, and let's clear all this out of here. And we are going to run out of uses on the pickaxe, which is a bummer. And I don't want to go up and make another one. All right. Looks like we're going to have to, though, unless I got wood down here, which I don't. Let's see. Wood grab wood boom sorry about this I'm sure you guys love watching me craft pickaxes on like episode 22 or something but uh I guess I guess things like that happen all right let's grab all of these things out of here and two one perfect and now let's start placing these so the containment walls are going to go in here. Oops, that's one too big. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, do, do. Then we're going to place the heat vents. We're going to place one, one, one. All right, one there, one there. Pattern provider in the middle and one right there. Perfect, the basic one you can make. And let's grab all these out of here. And everything that can go in there will. Nice, guy is made and looking good, ready for action, which is great. So this guy should be able to craft things again, right? Yep, perfect. And you over here, you should be able to craft things as well. So one other thing we're going to need is this thing, the crafting monitor. So let's see, crafting monitor oops crafting monitor that's gonna need a basic me okay so let me go make some of these and i'll be back in just a second all right so i made the crafting monitor as well as the crafting terminal uh the crafting terminal is a pretty useful little thing um we're going to throw the crafting terminal right there 
and crafting monitor right there. And the crafting terminal pretty much allows us to, well, craft things, taking it straight out of there. This guy lets us do that. And perfect. So let's see what it's going to require to make this. If we just make one begin, what are we missing from the start? All right. So you can see it's going to queue up what we need from the start, telling us what we're going to miss. So it needs like glowstone. It's going to need that. But honestly, I think that we have enough of everything else in the system so far. Maybe not. Um, eh, we'll cancel it for now. But that's pretty much how it works. So what my next plan to do is place things, monitors on each side, um, that show us how much is in the system at the current time of the different ores, and that's how we're going to track that. And I also think I want to turn this back wall into a or, um, drives, because I want to add a lot more drives. Maybe we won't turn the whole back wall into it, but um, we'll make drive portion of it. And then we need to set these guys up to learn how to do some crafting with our little system here. So we'll do that next episode as well. Um, but anyway, I think we're doing pretty good so far, and um, I'm really liking the progress that we've got. You can see that this guy's crafting. It's a lot, a lot, a lot slower, so um, maybe we'll upgrade it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, could you please leave a rating? Let me know how I did, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.